This is the historic Apple capital of Georgia, LJ. Sitting in the North Georgia mountains in Gilmore County, this quaint town is known for its cozy cabins, acclaimed trails, and inviting atmosphere. My name is Aubrey, a food and travel blogger partnering with Gilmore County to highlight some of the city's best spots during my 24 hour stay. First stop, my Airbnb. Right above these unique vintage shops was the cozy and chic apartment I stayed in. The team at the RNA company did a wonderful job of creating a beautiful space where I felt safe and warm. There are two apartments to choose from and I stayed in apartment B. Now, if you throw a rock from the Airbnb, it would land right in the center of downtown LJ. Yep, that's how close it was. I took a stroll downtown and watching the decorative lights glow as the sun set made me feel like I was in a Hallmark movie. I could definitely see myself back here during the fall. My downtown stroll was followed by a delicious dinner at La Cachina. What better way to celebrate Taco Tuesday than with their wonderful birria tacos? And of course, I had to enjoy their watermelon margarita, a perfect way to end a night before a long day of exploring LJ tomorrow. The next day couldn't come soon enough. I slept wonderful and woke up at 7 so I could head to LJ Coffee House. This cozy coffee shop was the perfect setting for getting some work done and recharging for the day. They have a great selection of paninis and I really enjoyed the one that was called Bear Creek. After enjoying my breakfast, I stumbled into some of the downtown shops before checking out of my Airbnb at 11. I then took the road and ventured to the town's number one visited spot, the BJ Reese Apple House. Now, you can't visit the Apple Capital without exploring their many orchards and apple farms. Known for their fresh pies and sweets, I couldn't wait to get my hand on something good. Little show and tell, here is the apple cake. I'm so excited to try it. A little close up so you get the Focus, look how good that looks. All right, let's do a taste test. This is amazing. I definitely wanna save this, warm it up when I get home. Maybe add some apple butter on top. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. They're stocked with fresh produce and even offer apple picking during the fall. I was so excited to go home with a jar of fresh apple butter. Now what makes this orchard so special is the cidery that they own right across the street. I'm so excited to try it. After trekking only about 100 feet across the street, I was excited to taste some ciders to help the apple cake go down. The first two options, my favorites, were produced right at their cidery and the following two were produced at the local farms in town. And now we're off to the next adventure. After enjoying a scenic 10 minute drive, I arrived at Ott Farms and Vineyard. Here I got to enjoy a wine tasting and a glass of their warm mulled wine.
absolutely delicious and the perfect way to keep warm while enjoying the 180 degree mountain view outside. With plenty of blankets for comfort and very friendly and inviting owners, you might just end up staying the whole day. They also have many different events, including live music on certain days. Before the day came to an end, I decided to end my trip back in downtown LJ for lunch, a vibrant restaurant offering great food and a side of views. I was very impressed with their signature burger and the perfectly crisp fries that came with it. LJ was the perfect location for my first solo trip. Though I stayed downtown, it was a lot more calm than the chaos we seemed to encounter in downtown Atlanta. If you're ever in need of a quiet escape, I would definitely consider LJ as your next destination. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, connect with me on socials, and see where Aubrey goes next.